was out of lack of long testimony. Did he state to you that he was officially representing anybody or working for any committee that was investigating the assassination? He uh, gave me the impression that, or appeared to try to give me the impression that he was working with the commission. A commission? Yeah. Did you name the commission? I don't believe he named the commission, but he mentioned a new investigation into the assassination. Did he say that he was a part of it? Uh, he said he had been working on this. I believe that was his word. And you recall his name was Teddy Foster because you used to have a friend named Teddy Foster in Paris made you think of the same name. Right. All right. Did this man show, this individual show you any documents? No. Uh, uh, he he threw some photographs and what appeared to be some legal documents on the bar. A legal documents? You mean a piece of paper was folded like a subpoena? Right. And you've seen a subpoena before. You know what one looks yes. like. Did it have subpoena written on it, or did you read it? Uh, I I didn't I didn't read it. As a matter of fact, it was more or less uh, kind of under the the photographs. When All right. Did you have occasion to look at the photographs? Uh, yes, particularly the one particular photograph on top. Uh huh. And what was in that photograph? A uh, picture of Ruby with two women. And uh, did you recognize the women? I thought I recognized one of the women. All right. And who did you recognize that woman to be? Uh, Mrs. Geneva Dees. How do you know? Uh, did you did you tell the uh, did you identify the individual in the photograph to Mr. Foster? No, I didn't. Uh, all right. Did you tell me uh, you knew Geneva Eve Geneva Dees from the last twenty years? I understand. That's right. And you've had affairs with her off and on. That's correct. All right. Um, could you tell me? Uh, Anything else that Mr. Foster may have said to you at um, that evening about the assassination investigation or anything that he was involved in? Well, he said that he had been doing some work on this. And what kind of work? Uh, well, he didn't specify what kind of work. I just, uh, I, you know, wasn't paying that much attention to him, but he. Uh, appeared to uh, try to give me the impression he was working with the commission. And uh, did he tell you anything else at night that uh, got your attention or caused you any alarm or made you remember the conversation with him? Mm. No, only the fact, uh, you know, only thing I can recall is the fact that he uh, said, uh, uh, something about uh, Richardson and that I believe he said he was an attorney. The Richardson being the town that he was an attorney in? Uh, yes, I suppose so. All right, and you went bar hopping the rest of that night? Didn't see anybody, didn't talk to anybody, and the next day you called Mrs. Dees? No, no, it wasn't the next day. When did you call contact Mrs. Dees? Uh, this was last week. Uh, what you called Mrs. Dees, and what did you say to Mrs. Dees? Um, well, I called Mrs. Dees up and asked her if she'd like to meet me. Did you tell her why? Well, you know, like I said, we've had an affair. That was all um, the the reason I wanted to meet her. All right, and. Uh, did you did you meet her? Yes, I did. All right, and where did you meet her? A uh, private club here in town called the Executive. All right, and where is that? It's uh, in the Williamsburg Shopping Center. And uh, tell me what you talked about when you met her at the club. 
Well, you know, we talked about the usual things that, you know, boy, girl, talk. Uh, and I did mention the fact that uh, I thought I had recognized her in the photograph. And what did, uh, tell me in your own words exactly what you remember you told her, exactly. I told her I thought I recognized her in the photograph. Did you ask her if she was ever to, to have a picture taken with Jack Ruby? Yes, I did. And what did she say? She said no. Did you know whether or not she knew Jack Ruby? No, I didn't. Did you know Jack Ruby? No, I didn't. Did you ever go to the Carousel Club? I don't remember ever being in the club. Did you ever go to the, uh, uh, any of Jack Ruby's clubs? Did you ever go to any club? Well, clubs? I didn't know that he hadn't. I mean, I'm not familiar with the clubs he owns. And were you in Dallas in 1963? Yes, I was. Did you go to any topless nightclubs when you were in Dallas in 63? Uh, I probably did. I didn't, you know, I didn't frequent the places, but I, I recall being downtown on a, probably a couple of occasions. And uh, did you ever go to the Silver Spur? I'm not familiar with. The, uh, where the silver spur was, or I might have possibly been in it. All right, now tell me, did you ever, you told Mrs. Dees that you sat down in a bar with Mr. Foster and he said that he was working for the committee and showed you a photograph and you thought she was in the photograph. Did you tell Mrs. Dees anything else? Well, uh, you know, we did discuss uh, some, uh, I mean, you know, it was a longer discussion than that, but uh, basically, you know, that's all. I just uh, kept on uh, talking to her, and then, you know, because I was pretty sure it was her in the photograph, and I, you know, I I asked her, did you know, did she ever know uh, Ruby or? Were you a, did you were you with anybody else with you that night when you met Mrs. D? No. Have you seen Mrs. D since then? No. You didn't. You didn't have a case. You know a man by the name of Jackson, an attorney by the name of Jackson, who's from up north in Connecticut. No. Do you not have a stepsister who's married to someone, an attorney up north? No. That came down here about oh, a few weeks ago, and someone had gone to school with Mrs. D. No. You didn't have a conversation with Mrs. Dees in an apartment? Did you have a conversation in the apartment of uh, a young friend of Miss, an old friend of Mrs. Dees? No. So the only time you've seen Mrs. Dees is the time you said you met her at this bar at the executive club here in Dallas. That's correct. Here in Paris. Did you ever tell Mrs. Dees that her life was in danger, that someone was watching her? No. I, I remember, you know, when we talked of this that night at the club. I remember saying that, you know, uh, possibly, you know, if she had any connection, her life could be. You never told her that she was, do you believe now that her life is in danger? I don't know. You don't know? I mean... Do you uh, know if anybody's watching her? No. Are you are you are you trying to get something going with Mrs. D's again, like old times? I'd like you to be perfectly honest with me. Do you have any motivation towards Mrs. D's? Mm, possibly. And you never communicated to Mrs. D's that. Um, she was being watched, or that Foster said that she's been watched. No, I. Did you ever give Mrs. Dees the impression that what that Foster had a lot of information about Mrs. Dees? No. Did you ever tell Mrs. Dees that Foster even knew who Mrs. Dees was? No, I. Uh, you know, I didn't mention the name. I. I did have conversation with her that night because I thought that. Uh, that was her in the picture, you know, I thought pretty strongly. And so, 
you know, I did ask the question several times concerning the fact that she was sure, you know. You haven't seen Mrs. D since then or communicated with her since then? I have talked to her on the telephone. How many times have you talked to her on the telephone? Since since you saw her that time? Uh, three times, I believe. And what has been the nature of the conversation? What did you talk about? Well, she talked to me the next day, she called. And what did you talk about? Uh, well, she seemed to be upset about the fact that uh, 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 that we, you know, over the the fact that I had seen a photograph and uh, you know uh, I've known Miss Dees to be a uh, rather I guess you'd say nervous type person. Did you give her any reason to think that her life was in danger? Well, if I maybe I possibly did. I didn't, you know, I didn't mean to, but I. Do you have any reason to cause Mrs. D's any harm? No. Is there? A, do you know Mrs. D's present husband? No, I don't. Did you know Mrs. D's former husband, Mr. White? Only through. Uh, conversation, you know, with uh, Geneva and uh, I think, I believe he grew up around here too, also. And I probably knew of him back she when I was younger, but I you know any people that did not that knew him? I didn't know him personally, and uh, if I knew anybody that knew him, you know, it would just be from high school days and back, back then. So I really, you know, Never had any connection with him myself. Have you seen this fellow Foster since then? Since that night at the bar? No, I haven't. I haven't been in the area. Where have you been? Um, here, most here in Paris. Let me go off the record just for a moment. Now, if you if you can be completely um, that night in the bar that Mr. Foster showed you, that is it. That is the photograph on page fifty-six. That so it's Jack Ruby, and he's flanked by two people. And you, which one of the two people? I, the person on Mr. Ruby's left, which would be our right, if we look at the photograph, you identified that as as Ruby as um, as Jennifer White. That, that is it. That is the photograph. Yeah. Now, I ask you to look at that photograph now and tell me, do you still think that's Mrs. That's Mrs. Uh, Dees. Look very carefully to get out of your light. Well, still looks like her the way she looked then. How, uh, were you having an affair with Mrs. White in 63? Well, I probably saw her soon. Uh, when you say about saw her, do you, what do you mean by that? Do you think did you go to bed with her during that period of time? You probably did. And you look at that photograph now, and it's and you in your it's your opinion that that that, that is Mrs. White. Well, I can't say you know for sure because it. You, is, is it your opinion now that is the photograph that was shown to you in the, in, the, in the bar by Mr. Foster? Yes, I'm sure that's the same photograph. All right. Mm -hmm. And you have an opinion that you, that, in your opinion now, is that what Mrs. Dees looked like in 1963? Yes, uh, it looks like her. Of course, and you know, I can't say for certain that that would be her. That's going to like her. All right. Do you know anything about Mr. the late Mr. White's work with the Dallas Police Department? Did you know anything about what he did with the police department between 63 and 65? I was aware that 
he was involved in the investigation. How, how did you know that? Uh, just through Geneva. And did you, do you know any specific things that Mrs. White told you that uh, Mr. White was doing during that time? No, nothing specific. Do you recall whether or not Mrs. White, then Mrs. White, and now Mrs. Dees, ever told you that her husband had photographs taken of evidence concerning the assassination? No. I want you to think very carefully on that. Did she ever tell you that she had any photographs? No, I'm, I don't believe she did. Do you have any personal knowledge or information of the whereabouts of any evidence or any documents that may be associated with the assassination of the president or the subsequent investigation? No. Do you know anybody that's involved in the that was then involved in the investigation or is now involved in any way in the investigation? No. All right. In just a moment, I'd like. To show you a photograph and ask you if you recognize it. Uh, it's 42. It's number 42. It's number 42. Okay. Do you know a man by the name of Phelps? Mm, Phelps? No. Do you know a C.B. Johnson? No, not that I recall. Do you recall a man by the name of Knight? No. Uh, only night I, I did know a guy in Dallas by the name of Knight. Uh, he was in the car business. I bought a car from him one time, I believe. Can you tell me what kind of car you bought? Uh, it was uh, a Chevrolet, a new Chevrolet. All right. I knew his you, you, name is Benny. Benny White? Benny, Benny Knight? Uh, I believe the guy's a, a name was Mac Knight now. Mac Knight, okay. Do you know up. someone named Kenoshita? No. Do you know a Foster? No. You know Teddy Foster from Paris? Right. Well, then why'd you say no? <laughs> well... I didn't say what Foster. Uh, I. Well, I haven't seen a guy in years, but you know. But you do know a Teddy Foster. I knew a guy in high school from Paris. Name. You know Teddy a J.C. Foster? Foster? Uh, not that I recall. Do you know a man by the name of Kishivas? No. Do you know anyone by the name of Hampton? Hampton? I don't believe so. Do you know anyone by the name of Lynch? No. don't believe so. Let's go off the record one second. You think you hear what you're talking about? Well, do you believe the story? Do you think, do you think now that that's Looking back now, you know, you know, he didn't act very professional because, you know, he was... Uh, was this one of the pictures? And, and I, he might, that picture could have been in, but I... I don't recall. Right, no, no luck. Okay. Have you got anything? The only other picture I really remember seeing was, you know, three people, or three men around the table. And you didn't recognize any of the three. Do you no. have any reason to believe that Mrs. Dees knew Jack Ruby? Uh, no, not. You went out with her during this period of time, '63. Did you ever go to any bars together in Texas, in Dallas? Well, uh, I'm sure we did. Do you, can you recall any of the bars you went to? I remember mostly going to uh, places in uh, Grand Prairie. We did go to some places in Grand Prairie, some dance halls out there together. Did Mr. White know that you were seeing his wife? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Did Mrs. White ever tell you that she thought her husband was seeing someone else? I think so. Did she recall, do you recall the name of the woman that she said that she thought um, Well, it, she never called any names. She ever mentioned but, the name Helen? But, uh, no, but she uh, suspected that he you know, did see other women. 
Are you planning on seeing Mrs. D's again? <laughs> well, I don't really have any any plans, but you know, I I can't say I won't. Do you have any reason to want any harm to come come to Mrs. D's? No, of course not. And Mr. Foster did not mention Mrs. D's by name. No. Did he indicate he knew who the woman in the photographs were? Yes. He indicated he knew who they were. Well, I, I, I well, I just remembered that my that I I, I looked and I said uh, uh, I think I recognize these people and, and he said yeah we know all of them or something like that. Did you? In you didn't hear him say Mrs. White or no, Geneva or no, anything like that. No. But you got the impression that he knew it was Mrs. White or he knew no. it was somebody else. He just knew their name. He says uh, something like, uh, we know him we know all or something like that. Can you recall anything else he said? No. All right. Uh, have you been in touch with anybody else about the recognition, recognizing a photograph of Mrs. Dees no. since then? Do you know one? Do you know anyone by the name of Robbie Love? I don't believe so. When you were working in Dallas in '63, did you know General Edwin Walker? No. Are you, are you a member of any organizations such as, an, are you a Mason? No. Uh, uh, did, you, did you ever gamble much? No. Not a gambler? Did you ever, did you ever play the horses? Uh, no, not. You know, just a few times I've been at racetracks. Uh, you ever, you ever did well, any, you know, on vacation or something. I ever do any illegal gambling in Dallas? Oh, you know, sometimes on a football pot or something. Uh, Were you ever, you're not a heavy poker player? No. Do you, uh, do you know anything about the investigation of the assassination of President Kennedy? No, only what I've read in the papers. And, you know, of course. So you have no independent knowledge. Do you have any photographs or any documents or anything of that nature? That no. Assessment? Do you know if anyone else does? No. All right. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I want to just make make sure that the only time you met with Mrs. Dees and discussed this incident with Mr. Foster was in the executive club at a bar. We at the bar at a, at a table. Uh, it was crowded. There was no tables. We we sat for a while. We were there, and you were alone. Mm -hmm. You well, you were alone. In other words, you didn't go with any friends. No, I was alone. Was there anyone else in the bar that you recognized? Well, I've been over there a few times, and you know, I know of uh, just uh, some people that I don't even know by names that I've talked to while I was in there, but, you know, I hadn't been over there that many times. And when approximately was this meeting? Uh, it was, uh, Thursday before, Thursday night before Christmas. All right, now, just for the record, I'd like to ask this question one more time, so we're, so we're no misunderstanding. Are you telling me that at no time you sat down in the presence of another person, a man, a lawyer, and his wife, at no time did you sit down with two other people and discuss Mrs. D's and, and interrogate, talk to Mrs. D's about knowing Ruby or having her picture taken in front of the club? No. Would you make a, make a statement to that effect? I have at no other time discussed the assassination of the president with Mrs. Dees other than the time indicated that I have told. And at that time you were alone with Mrs. Dees at the bar of the executive club? Uh, 
Yes, there and uh, in her car. In her car. All right. Uh, I think we can uh, go off the record. Uh, 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 you. Let's see. Uh, you're. You're not. Um, do you have any independent uh, interest in, in the investigation of the president? No. Uh, no. Have you, have you read any books on it? Uh, no. Mostly, you know, just uh, newspapers. Are you aware that we're, you know, investigations going yes, on now? Yes. Do you have an opinion about that? Uh, no. You know, anything I could. Uh, say about it, you know, uh, I really all along felt that Oswald acted alone. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm, there's so much uh, unanswered till I'm really, <laughs> just like everybody else, I suppose, I really don't have an opinion. Well, let me, uh, let's see, we went over to where you're, in fact, you're unemployed and you're staying with, uh, I believe you said your mother? Right. Okay, do you, do you have any independent source of income? Social Security or unemployment? No. You don't get any unemployment? Do no. you have a pension? No. What, uh, can I ask you what your source of income is? Uh, well, I do a little work around here on uh, televisions and uh, CB radio. And so so you, you were an electronics uh, expert, I guess? Um, technician. That's pretty good. Um, are you seeking a, a job, or are you, are you mm, looking, Yes, I am. Are you looking here in Paris, or? Uh, no? Right now, I am. You ever in the military? No. And so you went to high school in Paris? Yes. And did you go on to college after that? No, I did have some college at night school. Did you, did you, have, did you train for electronics, or did they train you at Western Electronics? Uh, they trained at Western more or less. You uh, wouldn't for 18 years? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I um, I think we can just about conclude this interview. I appreciate very much your cooperation. Mr. Walsh uh, may have any, do you have any questions, uh, Kevin, in the areas that uh, you think you might have Could I just see, do you have some ID with you? <laughs> yeah, if you would like to see this. Yeah, sure. um, we Appreciate your cooperation. Uh, you have my card, and if there's any other information that comes to your mind, would you, would you please call me, Collette? Mm, yes, I would. Uh, you know, I, uh, well, you I can't, of course, else? see anything, uh, really, because, you know. Well, if you I, see this fellow Foster again, would you call me? I, if, I probably won't have an occasion. I'm not planning to be in that area, but. Uh, All right. Eddie, can I just run through a couple of these things with mm. you? Uh, I just want to get it on verbally. You're, uh, you were born on uh, May 12, 1938. Right. And your address uh, is listed here as uh, 3324 Ridge Lake. Right. And, uh, you have not at any time represented yourself as uh, being uh, connected with this investigation. No. Um, I'd like to have a photograph of you if that would be all right. <laughs> sure. Okay. We generally like to have a record of the people we've talked to. We, uh, right now, will tell you that we'll not discuss the fact that we have talked with you with anyone. We hope that we would like, we hope that you will also do the same, but we can't. We can't ask. We can ask you not to. We can't tell you that you cannot. Well, okay. If uh, Ms. Dee's asked me, and I'm sure she will. Taller than you? Yeah, uh, he was taller. Did he have any kind of an accent? Was he have a Texas accent? Uh, yeah, 
I'd say it's strong. strong. No, no, no. I wouldn't say strong. Just I didn't down here. You know, if, if uh, you don't pay any attention, as long as they talk, you know, the way um, people do around here. Didn't uh, didn't sound like you belonged in the area. Didn't yeah. sound like he was out of town. Uh -huh. Okay. Did he say anything else about his business? That, whether he was had a partner or a firm or big law practice, criminal lawyer? Did he say what kind of law? He no. Had? no. But he did say he was a lawyer. Yes, he did. Okay. Well, I think that with that we can conclude the interview. One other thing. Oh. I myself have, at times, uh, you know, meeting a woman in a bar or getting acquainted with her or just wanting to stay in touch. I have myself, at times, uh, invented things or stretched things out. It's innocent. It doesn't really mean anything. But I would like to ask you if there is any possibility that you had um, invented the story of the man on the bar in an effort to impress her. Mm, no. Geneva. No. Uh, you know, I. Well, I don't see anything impressive about it. You know, I just uh, thought I recognized the picture. I don't see anything impressive about that. You know. Um, you did not invent the incident as an no, opportunity to speak have, with her. Uh, and you had what, what was when was the last time you've seen Mrs. D before the time that you called her after meeting the guy in the bar? It's been several years. Three, four? Mm, longer than that. And did you see her much between the time her husband died in seventy one and she remarried? No. Were you ever in love with Mrs. D? Yeah, thanks. So. so you think you think that you probably will? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, but um, everything you've told us today is to the best of your knowledge. Yeah, the truth is the best as you know it. All right. I think we can conclude the interview with that, Mr. Walker.